Hello and welcome to episode 37 of ITC TechShare. I'm Tom Grissom. Today I'd like to do a demonstration of using Excel Online that is one of the apps available in the Office 365 suite. You'll see that I'm now at the Office 365 start screen. I'm logged in with my demo account. So to begin from this start screen, I can simply go down to the Excel Online icon, click on that. That will open up the Excel Online program and it should look, look somewhat familiar. I've got the familiar ribbon interface. It's not as full featured as the real application, but you can probably do 80% of the work, just basic spreadsheet work, using just the Excel Online program. So let's just do a classic example. Let's say I'm an English teacher and I want to, uh, to calculate some test scores for my students. I like to get in the habit right away of going up to the title bar and backspacing out the default name, and let's call this English class and then I'm going to put today's date 10 13 20 14 and that's how you rename a file if you do that first you won't end up with a bunch of default names like book book one book two so forth and so forth for uh, Excel so let me come up here to cell a1 and let's say that we want to have the student name that's we can resize the columns just like the regular one it works very very similar the only difference is I do not have I do not have to have the full office Excel version loaded on my local computer this is all done in the cloud so that gives you a lot of freedom with what you can do so let's say instead of doing student names I'm just going to say student one student two and then another trick here if you don't know it you can highlight two cells that are contiguous and then use this little cross symbol and pull down and let's say that I have 17 students that's a quick way to to make something uh, automatic let's do control Z I don't want that many students because I don't want to enter that much data right now let's just have two students available here and then across the top for my headers let's say we have test one test two and test three so let's quickly let's say student one received a hundred on the first test an 89 on the second one and a 92 on the third one student number two received a 98 on the first one an 89 on the second one and a 99 on the third one so now then I need to calculate my total points so let's add another column here total points and I want to be able to sum up all of these points so what I can do is place my cursor. So now I'm ready for a formula. I could do a summation formula in this particular case. However, across the ribbon, you will notice some familiar symbols and formulas. Let's do an auto sum. It goes out and makes the assumption that I want to add test one, test two, and test three together. Yes, that is indeed what I want. So it gives me 281 points out of a possible 300. And I can pull down and copy that formula and student number two has 286 points so you get the idea just basic spreadsheets um, if I need to I can come up here highlight my headers um, if I want to change the color let's maybe change those to red maybe I want to bold it maybe I want to make the font a little bit larger and I need to expand my columns a little bit so you get the uh, get the general idea it's Excel, Excel online, Excel in the cloud. So very, very handy to have. I've already changed my name right here. So this is English class 1013 2014. To get back to my main start screen, I'm going to click on demo, my name up here in the left hand corner, just like we did with the word online. That takes me back to my OneDrive account. And if I look down here, if I scroll down through, you can see that there's the English class with the date and the last time I edited that was about a minute ago and if you remember back from Friday we did a word online demo I made a folder and stored that document in there so the last time that that was edited was three days ago and here's my demo account name right there so now then you can kind of see that I'm in documents in the word online folder I just need to backtrack these bed breadcrumbs and let's go back to documents and you can see that it's available there if for some reason I wanted to put this into the word online demo it is a drag and drop interface so I can click hold and drag and then if I open up that folder you'll see my English class example there 
So just some different things. Another trick, if you're here and you want to go back to the Office 365 start screen, when you see the Office 365 logo in the upper left-hand corner of your browser window, if you click on that, depending upon your default settings, that will take you back to what I call the splash screen or the Office 365 start screen. So with that, we'll wrap it up. That's Excel Online. All I need to have is an internet connection and my Office 365 account, and I can do some basic, edit basic editing with Excel Online. Thank you.